Hi everyone, it's Jason here today at the Seymour Library, um, coming to you today with an Olympians. Today we're going to talk about an animal from Europe called the Mountain Goat, or it's actually called the Ibex is another name for it. This animal made our list for Olympians because it is very, very good at climbing. And this year at the Olympics there will be a new event. Um, which is a wall climbing event. There's actually three events in it. We'll talk about those and talk a little bit about the eye bats today. So first off, I want to show you a few pictures of what the eye bats looks like. It's a really just looks like a goat, which is what it is. It's a mountain goat. It can climb up really high in the mountains on very thin ledges, and as you can see, this one's kind of between two ledges spread out pretty cool and the reason they climb up mountains is for the salt and minerals they can lick off the mountains so there's there's another this is a a big wall or it's actually a dam in Europe that they climb up to get to the minerals and they lick, lick the minerals off the wall and here's another one. The uh, the one with the big horns is a boy or a male, and the other one is a female. And they are different in sizes. The male is almost double the size of a female. Um, they reach about. Let's see. The males are about 40 inches tall, so you know about this high and the females are only about 33 inches tall so they're a little smaller quite a bit smaller and the boys or the males weigh 150 to 250 pounds I'm about 200 pounds so that can kind of give you an idea of how how much they weigh but the girls or the females they only weigh about 35 to 71 pounds, so about half the weight of the males. Um, they're usually brown or gray in color. And again, they live in Europe, Europe in the Alps. They actually originated from Italy, and they got endangered, and they got reintroduced, and they're doing well now. So again, they live in the mountains of Italy, Italy, France, Europe, in different Europe countries, they like to be between 5,900 feet and 10,800 feet up in the mountains. So it's pretty high, really, really high. Bigger than any building we have here in Seymour. So they climb really high on rocks and, and through the mountains, and they eat grasses. So that's what they live on. They eat grasses and they let the minerals off. Well, but their main diet is grasses and any kind of uh, grass they can see as they're going up the mountain. Um, most of the time, they live in groups. There'll be there's different groups. It's usually a male group and a female group, and they don't usually come together until it's time for them to make babies. And then they come together and they climb to the top of the mountains and they'll have their babies and that's where the babies stay because it's nice and safe at the top there's not too many animals that can get up there and hurt the babies and then they'll come back down and the males will go down into the bush area or the forest area and stay and the females will stay up on the mountain at a lower height and kind of live off the mountain range until it's time to mate again and then they'll get back together and do it all over again. Um, but they are really cool, like I said, as you can see they can climb up these really high walls and to get to stuff. And that's why they're an Olympian, because they can climb. So, in the Olympics that was supposed to happen this last summer, but didn't because of COVID. It will happen here in 2021, hopefully. Um, they're going to have a new event 
called rut climbing, or they actually call it sports climbing, and there's actually three events in sports climbing. There is lead climbing, and lead climbing is an event where one person leads the way up a wall, and then their team follows them, and they're all strapped together and have safety harnesses on, and they'll climb the wall as fast as they can, following each other, and helping each other up the wall. So that's one event called the lead lead climbing and they do a speed climbing event where they harness up kind of like this as you can see and they'll climb up the wall as quickly and as fast as they can and that's called speed climbing so that will be one of the Olympic events and the last Olympic event is called bouldering they don't climb high in bouldering they just climb about 18 feet up but they try to get through an obstacle course that has big boulders and big obstacles on it and they try to get through it touching as the least amount of boulders or obstacles they can and that's how they win. So those are the events of mountain climbing or actually I'm sorry sports climbing um, they don't usually do it outside because they don't want to damage the environment so they'll build the walls inside and or build a wall outside but they won't they won't use mountains or stuff for the Olympic events because they don't want to hurt the environment and that today is kind of our our lesson um, hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a little something about climbing um, it's very hard to show you how to do this because we don't have any climbing walls around the area so hopefully you can imagination um, it, to do this um, you can watch some videos on YouTube if you want to see more. Again, I hope you enjoy this, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.